Hello. Hello, how are you? It's me and the wind is blowing the camera enthusiastically. <laughs> Enthusiastic wind. I'm in some very exposed kind of weird landscape. And it's, uh, it's kind of the edge of a ridge that was quarried. Uh, and I'm a couple of, uh, three or I think I'm about seven miles down from, uh, along a stretch of Hadrian's Wall at a fort built by the Romans round about, well, we know, 124 AD. Oh, the wall was started in 122 AD and this fort, which would have held garrisons of Roman soldiers, was basically a, an, a way of passing through the wall. <coughs> but all along the wall, there are little towers, um, little mile, little buildings every mile. They're not actually every mile. Sometimes it was strategically a good idea to not put them every mile, but maybe a bit sooner than a mile. And it's all designed to, to look out over from England across to the land, which didn't f properly have uh, a border established, I wouldn't have thought. But um, this fort here is called Housestead's Fort. And it's pretty amazing that it survived. The entranceway here is pretty impressive. We're currently going through a bit of a, a lockdown. We're getting to the easing off stages. And uh, it's just free, I think, to come in. There was nobody stopping us. The office was locked. There's other people here. So I feel a bit bad because normally it's about a good 10 pounds for adults. Here we are. Here we go. I'm seeing sheep. I can see sheep, my old friends. I'm getting used to seeing these guys now. They'll give you a good look, see if you're the farmer, see if you mean food. And if you're not the farmer, they look away and run away and don't care. Well, I'm at the fort, and the first thing that greets you as you clamber up that hill is uh, this here, which looks like a water something or other. Maybe this stored the water, maybe not. Maybe this is, because it's far away from the fort, maybe this is for something a little less savoury, but it's essentially uh, all that's quite been filled in. This is the I think it's I think this is the water tank. It's pretty amazing. Like, it's like 1900 years old. Look at it. It's exactly as they put the stones. Exactly how as it was essentially. You're going to hear me say that a lot, I'm sure. But just, you know, just thinking that this, this stone here, somebody went, right, yeah, let's put that there. But they probably said it in Latin or Italian. Hey, hey we put the stone here. <laughs> That's my Italian. Because Romans are from Rome, you see. This whole place is incredible. I mean, look at it. I hope, I hope it transfers onto the recording just how vista-like this is, aided totally by the fact that I'm walking amongst sheep right now. Okay, here we go. This is also otherwise known as Vercovicium to the Romans. 
the, this is the best preserved of all the 16 forts on the Roman frontier of Hadrian's Wall. Blows me away. The thing was that when, you know when this arrived in AD 124, it was actually here for 800 years. 800 years. So that's generation after generation of people in Britain being brought up used to Roman soldiers living here, living on the land. I mean, that's that's a that's going to have a cultural impact, isn't it? I guess that's why we have so much Latin in, in the English language. Look at me, I sound I'm sounding like I'm sounding like an expert. I have no idea what I'm talking about. But here we go, mate. Oh my, this is, this is incredible. That's just oh, it's just amazing. Oh, this gate looks like it's locked actually. It says we'll be closed for a while. Please buy admission tickets at the museum. Unfortunately, you can't. I don't know if I'll be able to go in. It's fairly windy because we're at the top of a hill. The wind's just piling over, getting sped up as it comes over the top. So it's very, very windy. Sheep are running away from me. You can kind of see how it was built. You've got the, the neat and tidy exterior. You've got to bear in mind this was built by, not by slaves, but by soldiers who may well have been slave-like though I think they were paid you can see how the middle the middle layer they have the neat outside layer then they fill it in with all the the rough stuff because this has been worked with you know concrete stop people nicking the stones probably but you can see how it's rough in the middle and neat and tidy on the outside I mean incredibly neat and tidy I mean, these stones have been worked, right? These bricks. And look how they're kind of done patchwork style, like, you know, the overlapping the cracks and whatnot, just like we do brickwork now. You'd think that when the Romans came here, they started doing this stuff. We kind of learned from it, or the, the Brits did. Britannia. started copying how to build stuff. I've just come round the edge of the wall there. This is the wall of the fort and here it meets another wall and this wall is the world famous Hadrian's Wall. And uh, I just wanted to show you this bit here, where there's a little fence. All these things are easy to jump over. But this fence is designed to stop people running along the wall edge to get into the fort. Because it's you got to pay. Let's go down the other side at least and see what it's like. This uh, wall here isn't Hadrian's wall, I don't believe. I think this is a modern wall. Oh, here we go. Wow, look at this. <laughs> so, when you're walking the wall, you'd come down there. Reach this scary drop right here. Look at this. Woo! And they're stopping you going along the wall. Go down to the museum, buy a ticket. which we can't do because they're closed. But look at this view. Oh. 
Oh, I'm on the wall. Look, this is the wall. This pathway is, is Hadrian's Wall, built by the Romans 1900 years ago. Incredible. Oh, look at this. Like, I'm just blown away. I am absolutely blown away. You know, I get lucky every now and then, but just having places to myself. I've been, you can actually go on Google Maps and follow this pathway, which I've done. But what Google Maps doesn't do is, everything's flat on Google Maps, or the version I was looking at it was. But now I'm here, this, this sharp decline, incline, and then how it, it zaps off into the distance, and there's these big shards sticking out of it out of the uh, landscape, point towards the sky. Let's go down and have a look. Right, so it's quite a sharp drop to my left. I'll walk down a little bit of this wall here. There you go, Agent's Wall. Adrian's wall, mate. There you go now. And then we get towards the part of the wall that marks the fort. Now, halfway down here in the middle of the fort, there should be a doorway. I'm not quite sure how people coming from over here would get up this massive embankment here to get in the doorway. So it could be, I'm very wrong about this, but it's quite, you can see how it's quite a defensive position because once you manage to get yourself up this ridiculously sharp incline, exhausted, you're met with this wall, which would have been much higher with turrets on the top. And then you've got a fight. And of course, they've got the advantage. They've been sitting there watching you scramble up, thinking, laughing at you. I mean, us Scottish people are, are hardy. We're not all that hardy. I would have thought. Back then they would have been. The Romans thought the Scots, or the people who lived over there in the north of, the, of, of what is now the UK, of course. Um, Scotland border is about, it's about half an hour drive in that direction. God, that view. Uh, the Romans regarded them as barbarians, which is probably kind of true. They probably, you know, because we've got to bear in mind, Romans were sophisticated. I mean, they could do this. They had built beautiful palaces and empires and sailing vessels. <laughs> Whereas all the people up north had mud huts <laughs> and fishing rods, clubs. <laughs> These guys had, I don't know. I'm making, there's so much of this history up. I'm not seeing an entranceway actually, by the way. So it could be that they went through the side. Oh, hold on, there's something. Just walking along the edge of Hadrian's Wall. I can't get over it. Can you see how the wall goes all the way down there? Like, oh. I didn't think it was this intact. I see, this is where people are jumping in. Look, you can see the fence has been pretty much destroyed. I'm not, I'm going to be respectful. I'm not going to go in there. So it's a bit of an unfortunate timing. I would have paid the money and I could just jump over there and I don't think there's anyone in there guarding it or anything, but I'm gonna be good. I'm not gonna go in. Respect it. This is all, uh, this is either run by English Heritage or National Trust. I think it's English Heritage uh, look after this fort. And I think that if we all just start, started being able to sort of run around, run around it without, you know, volunteers or whoever it is, 
keeping guard on what's going on, then uh, I think it wouldn't last another 2,000 years. Well, so this looks like it's an entrance of sorts, I guess. We've got like one building here and another building there. I can't believe it is an entrance though with this this um, sort of landmass or lack of landmass, a big hole basically in front of it. You just couldn't get up here, I wouldn't have thought. It's just a massive valley. That line going across there is a wall, probably about shoulder height. And over here you can see the outstanding Hadrian's Wall. Look how well kept it is. 2,000 years that wall built by people and you know what? It goes coast to coast and it took them, I think it's four years. You can see it kind of goes along there to towards the trees, the corner of the trees, and then goes along the bottom of the trees. Can you imagine being here and seeing your co colleagues over there <laughs> doing the line and going, oh no, why don't we just go straight across? Can't we just go straight across? Why do we have to go up here then down there? Huh? Senor, why, why, why are we just, what, what, chief? Why are we just going, why don't we just go straight across? Why are we doing this corner? Chief, what's this, why? What? You'll do what? I can't imagine for a second the, uh, the soldiers were given the opportunity to argue. Right, well, I've not really planned this very well because I didn't realize I wouldn't be able to go in to the fort to show you it properly. So my filming day has been cut a little bit short. So what I've decided I'm going to do is I'm going to sleep rough in the car, get up very early and walk the wall.